things that was contrary to the will of God. And one of the main things was that there was a young man having a relationship with his father's wife, his stepmother. And the church just went on ahead and, and they did nothing, took no action against that young man. And Paul wrote and said that if you were truly the church of God, you should put him out and put out. Amen. That type of behavior should not be a part of the house of the Lord. It should not be a part of a, a true believer's life. Amen. Our responsibility is to lift Jesus up. <clears throat> now, 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 let, let's, let's be for real. If the pastor around here start calling out people for the things that they do that's contrary to the word and the will of God, there wouldn't be that many people in church. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Amen. Amen. So we need to understand that we are going to be challenged, contrary to expectation, taking our cross and following Christ uh, is not always a joyless experience, amen. Uh, uh, being a believer in Christ, amen, I find it a great joy to serve God, amen. And God has proven himself to me that he's worthy of all praise. All honor and all glory. He's worthy for me to make a sacrifice. Because I think about the great sacrifice that he made for me. Amen. I think about how that it was not through my own will, amen, and power that certain things came to pass in my life. And I saw the deliverance of Almighty God. Amen. I, I realized that his grace and his mercy endured, like David said, forever. So with every breath I breathe, I want to give him some praise because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, amen, I have to say like Israel say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? He's worthy to be praised, amen. So if God says, go on the corner and preach the gospel, amen, because somebody's going to come over there and hear what you're saying and accept me as their Savior and Lord, I want to be on that corner. I want to be there on time, amen, waiting for whoever it is that God is going to send to hear the word and get saved, amen. If God told me to go into prisons, amen, to preach his gospel, I want to go to the jailhouse. I want to be there to lift up Jesus, amen. amen. If he told me to go into the pits of hell because I realize how good God has been to me, amen, I want to go. So bearing a cross is not always a burden. Amen. But it can be a very joyful time. And when we talk about that cross-bearing thing, amen, it means that you there's some sacrifices that you will make to give God the glory and the praise of your life. All right. Amen. Amen. It's like, hey, I know the saints are going to play this Sunday, but this Sunday is our Lord's Supper. Amen. Instead of missing church to go to a doggone football game, I'm going to be there to pray, praise God. Amen. Because the type of relationship I have with him as and my Savior and Lord and being considered as his disciples, I want to do exactly what he said do. Right. Amen. 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 So, so when we move on into our little writings here, we talk about that. Two things are very important to us and those of us who consider ourselves true believers in Christ. Amen. Two things we need to always keep in mind and hold on to. We need to always be faithful, and we all, all uh, need to always be obedient. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, why call me Lord, and do not the thing that I say do? Amen. 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 We, in this day and age, we put too much before God. All right. Until we get sick, broke down, don't have nothing, amen, can't turn to nobody else, that's the only time we want to really get close with God. We want everybody in their mammon to pray for us, amen, amen. We are looking, we, we, uh, oh, that doctor said, look, I saw a spot there on the x-ray. Oh, Lord, call the pastor, amen. Amen. If you are a believer in Christ, amen, if you're truly a follower of God and you trust in Him, amen, if they see a spot, praise God. That's all they see a spot. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us, Holy Ghost. Amen. Faith and obedience. Obedience, when we talk about the a word obedience mean, is that we totally surrender ourselves to the word and the will of Almighty God. Oh, boy, if we could just, oh, help us, somebody. If we could just do what God said do, 
we would be a lot better off. Yes. Amen. 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 But we have a problem that we always want to contradict God. We always want to change. God, you say go over there, but I ain't going over there. Them people dangerous. Amen. Look at that. Them people dirty. Amen. And God is saying, y'all remember Jonah? Amen. Y'all remember Jonah? If y'all have it, amen. You ought to read the story about Jonah. God told him to go to Nineveh and preach my word. And Jonah had a big way. I don't like them people. And historically speaking, he's talking about how the Ninevites had just about destroyed Israel because of their disobedience to God. God allowed their enemies to come upon them. And they treated the Israelites very harshly. Amen. And, and while they was with, amen, there was some very, there was some things there that really rubbed it in that made hatred the epitome of their hearts toward the people of Nineveh. But God told him, go down there and pray. Preach. Amen. Gave him an assignment that, boy, that was the last thing he wanted to do. Amen. So what he did, he did like some of us do. We're going to buy a ticket and go somewhere else. Get busy. Do other things. Amen. Take a cruise. Amen. Well, he decided to take a cruise to Tarsha. Amen. And on his way, he forgot God being omnipresent, is everywhere all the time. Amen. Would meet him en route. Amen. And you and we can go on and we can go on. But you know what? When he found himself in the belly of that well, he got on his knees and started praying that he telling God, I'm in hell. Mm -hmm. you, you, ain't, you ain't in hell. Amen. God have a way of causing us to do his will, whether we like it or not. And it would be much easier if we would just obey the word and the will of God right. and be blessed. And you know, he had the nerve to get mad with God after God sent him to Nineveh and he preached and people were saying that they had a great revival. Amen. Amen. He was mad with God. And God told him, asked him the question in closing, you care about this little tree, this little plant that you raise it more than you care about your brothers and sisters. Amen. And he left it with a big question there. And we need to think about some of them things. Amen. When it comes down to our obedience to God. Many of us say, Lord, if you save me, I will serve you. you do you really know what you're saying to Come God? On now. You are making a vow to God that you are at his disposal anytime you need him. Anytime he needs you. Rather. Amen. You're saying to God that, hey, I, I, I'm here, God. I'm yours. Use me. And the minute he used me, you back up like a crawfish. Amen. The Bible says don't make a vow that you don't intend to keep. Amen. We're talking about obedience. Amen. We're talking about faith. Amen. Faith, when we talk about faith, we, I like to use this quotation. Faith is learning and believing what has been taught by a teacher or lead, leader. Amen. And this is how faith comes. The Bible says faith comes by what? Hearing. Yeah. Hearing what? The word of God. Somebody got to teach you. Somebody got to help you grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. And as you, you are faithfully serving, the word of God go out and say, come to Bible class. Come to Sunday school. The two greatest institutions in the world, amen, is the institutions that we don't participate in, amen, the least. And that is Bible class and Sunday school. Don't you know if it wasn't for the church, Bible class and Sunday school, there wouldn't be no colleges in this world? Help us, somebody. Help us, Lord, because every institution of higher learning, believe it or not, you go back to their roots, they come out of the church house. Help us, God. And although many have strayed away, it's still starting, amen, on the foundations of learning God's word first. Amen. Help us, Lord. Some of us, some of us are old enough to know when we had the one-room class.